Hello developers, welcome to my new video. This is part four of your multi-purpose bot series. Today, we will create a steel sticker and emoji system for our Discord bot. It's a pretty useful feature. Before we proceed, if you want the complete source code for this series or any videos or playlists on my channel, you can visit my Patreon. I upload the source code there as soon as I release a video. And yes, if you need any type of Discord bot, you can check out my Patreon shop, where you'll find advanced music bots, dashboards, and economy bots. Also, if you already have a bot and are looking for affordable hosting, you can check out Lizard Host. The link is in the description. You can visit and see for yourself. Now, let's see what we'll create today. We will make a command where you run the command, select an emoji, and send it. Then an embed will appear asking whether you want to add it as an emoji or as a sticker. If you click on add as emoji, a modal will open where you can give the emoji a name and it will be added to the server. The same process will apply for stickers, but sticker will contain some more text inputs. So let's get started. I'm now in my disco base project and first I'll run the bot. Then I'll go to the community folder and create a new file named steel.js. After that, I'll start writing the code. Follow along with me, and once the code is complete, we'll go through it step by step. And yes, guys, please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos because I know these videos are somewhat helpful for you. So please like and subscribe to the channel.
So our code is now ready. Let's quickly understand how it works. First, we defined Axios because we'll use it to fetch emojis. And yes, if you encounter an error like Axios not found or something similar, just run npm install Axios in your terminal and it will resolve the issue. Next, we defined a few things from discord.js that we're using. Then we simply created a new slash command, gave it a name, and added a string option to take an emoji input from the user. And yes, if you want only server admins to be able to add emojis or stickers, which you probably do, I forgot to include it earlier, simply go to the command definition and add set default member permission with permission flags bits dot administrator comma, and you're done. After that, we captured the user's input and defined a source URL variable. Then we checked if the emoji is animated or static. Based on that, we fetched the emoji and saved it in source URL. Next, we created an embed, displayed the emoji in the embed's image, and added two buttons. We attached the buttons to the embed and sent it. Then we created a message component collector. In the collectors on event, we checked if the emoji button was clicked. If it was, we created a modal to take the emoji's name and displayed it to the user. Similarly, if the sticker button was clicked, we created another modal with three text inputs. Finally, we handled the modal interaction, took the values like emoji name or sticker details, and created the emoji or sticker accordingly. That's it. Bye-bye.